Hello, my name is Gemma Grace. I'm a local autism campaigner and I also write my own poetry. This poem is called This Is Me and it's inspired by the Greatest Showman film. This is me. I'm proud of who I am. I am strong, strong autistic woman, woman who is independent, independent making my decisions, decisions for my future, future of the opportunities to share my story, story of how I live my life. Life of many exciting adventures. Adventures of new friendships formed. The friendships formed make me smile. Smile my friends and family support me. Support me to aim higher. Aim high with every step I take. I take every day pushing my boundaries. Boundaries of what I'm able to do. Able to do before I enter shutdown. Shutdowns are now very rare. Rare because I control them. Control them to the best of my ability. Ability to be positive and smile. Smile every day, for every day is a new day. Sunshine to encourage, encourage and inspire. Inspire every day to be the positive change. Change a situation. This is the Tuesday Takeover on BBC Radio Suffolk. So just tell me what you mean by a shutdown. A shutdown is when I have too much sensory input put into me and my body just can't handle it anymore and it's I can't describe it as my body just gives up and it's the noise, it's the sensory input, it's the smells that I put up with during the day and I get so overwhelmed by them. It's like a ticking time clock, I just go and I just need time to go to myself, calm down and it's usually anxiety related so I kind of feel tense, I feel on edge with people and I take myself away to then calm down so I'm able to control it better, whereas before I had too many triggers at one time to notice it. So that used to happen a fair bit, but now you understand that process a bit more and you can control and maybe do things to, to preempt it earlier on? Yes, I have strategies, which I've actually got one round my neck. I've actually got a sensory necklace with me, which helps me calm down. I just hold it in my hand, I fidget with it. So just describe that for me. It's a big heart. It's What's a, it made of? It's made of latex-free silicone, so they're all, they're all safe. They're all so chewable. So for people with autism who have sensory issues with chewing or needing to have something in their mouth, they can chew these. They're safe. They're all government-inspected. This is a uh, Love Heart one, and it also uses a fidget toy, so they're squeezy, you can squeeze them. OK, so it's squeezy, so it's a, a kind of a outline of a heart, so it's got yeah. a hole in the middle. But it doesn't look like it's anything other than a, a big piece of jewellery from, no. from first glance. Which is why a lot of people won't actually notice that this is a sensory jewellery. I wear these every day if I can help it. And I have different coloured ones, I have rainbow ones, I have a lot of other coloured ones, but today I thought I'd try and colour coordinate. Well, that's black and white, that matches your dress. Yeah. So just having that, knowing that you, you could fiddle with it or, or grab it if needed, just having it, is that calming as well? Yeah, it helps me to keep less anxious. Like on the way here, I was on the bus and I was feeling a bit on edge. I was like, no, Gemma, calm down. And I just held it in my hand and I was like, it's fine, you know where you're going, you know who you're speaking to, there's nothing to panic about. And once I got off the bus, I was just calm, calm down, and this is a lifesaver. It has saved me many a time.